What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I'm going to do the second video in the uh, home server hosting series and uh, talk to you a little bit about the internet connection. I didn't talk about that last time, uh, but I decided through some comments and also through thinking about it further that that is a major consideration. Now, um, the reason why I thought maybe it, it may not be the biggest consideration before is just because I feel like most broadband connections will work for most uh, very light uh, home server applications. But uh, let me get into some of the um, more uh, detailed thoughts about, about your internet connection before you get started. Um, there's three main things that you're going to want to think about before um, deciding whether your internet connection or what internet connections you have available are, are adequate for this. The first one is obviously going to be the bandwidth. Now that's the one everybody thinks about. That's the 50 megabits per second or 15 megabits per second or whatever the case may be. Now that's, they advertise the download speed, but there's also an upload speed. So keep that in mind when you're talking about bandwidth. Um, if, you're, if you're hosting a mail server or web server or something, the upload speed can, can sometimes be just as important, if not more important, than the download speed to, to think about. You usually are going to want to get a symmetrical connection, meaning that you have the same upload and download speeds. Now in my setup here, in my home, uh, I have uh, 35 megabits per second upload and, and download um, with you know symmetrical connection and it works great for me. Uh, so anyway, think about that when you're thinking about the bandwidth. Obviously the, the higher the number the better, but um, anything over probably 15 or so megabits per second is going to work for most um, lower end server applications. But that's not the whole story. There's two other uh, things you need to consider. No, the second one is latency. That's going to come into a play big time if you're if you're looking at like a Minecraft server or some sort of game server, Counter Strike or whatever. Um, latency means the time it takes to get from point A to point B. Um, if you're going to be playing with players around the world, latency is a big issue because it's going to take some serious time for the packets to get from your location if you're in the United States to China for example or or uh, or even just across your country <clears throat> um, so latency is, is very critical for gaming um, maybe not quite as important for, for things like web traffic and, and email um, the third thing is jitter a lot of people don't even know what jitter is they maybe haven't even heard that term before uh, jitter means that the packets are kind of for the same stream are arriving at different times and that kind of jacks things up for certain applications uh, the biggest ones being voice over IP and video streaming so if you're going to be streaming uh, streaming videos hosting videos and music stuff like that and streaming them off of your machine maybe you're you're running kind of a media server over the web somehow um, Jitter is a big deal, and you can test that. Um, I use pingtest.net as where I go. It'll test your your uh, your jitter to to a, a local server, um, and also if you're going to be hosting a, a VoIP server, which most people don't. Most people will will do that in the cloud, but it's critical to think of what application you're going to be doing. Um, and and then think about your internet connection and the various characteristics it's not all about bandwidth that's not the one the one statistic you need to be looking at and they don't most ISPs don't publish uh, information about you know quality of service stuff now jitter is a big issue because that can't really be solved without expensive hardware and a lot of know-how so if if you've got it unfortunately you're, it's not going to be good for hosting uh, videos or VoIP. Uh, anyway, so that kind of takes you through a couple of the, the main considerations for internet connections. Um, and hopefully that will help you make your final decision whether you should get into home hosting or not. Thanks for watching, guys.